Hi there. Red Foley's on a little vacation, and I'm Rex Allen, the Frontier Doctor. Mighty proud to be standing in for the old redhead here tonight. And here's our very special guest. Hi there, I'm Funny James. Hey, don't forget oh. me. I'm Brenda <laughs> Lee, and we're all going to have fun tonight on Ozark Jubilee. There it go. What I saw actually made me run myself to death. I was on the mountainside when I looked down below. Glory be, I thought I'd better come and let you know that we got company coming. We got company coming. We got company coming up the road. Then down the road about a mile, they'll be here in a little while. Company coming up the road. Chicken house and ring a neck or two. We'll have chicken and dumplings, some yellow gravy too. Grandpa, get your fiddle down, they might want a tune. Everybody, hurry, cause them will be here soon. We got company coming, company coming, got company coming, got company coming up the road. Land of Goshen, I'll lie, they'll be here in a minute now. There's company coming up the road. You know, folks, there are bands and then there are bands. And when you travel around as much as I do and work with as many musicians as I do, you really come to appreciate the bunch of boys who make up Slim Wilson's wonderful Jubilee Band. They're versatile, that is, Slim Wilson is, especially his drummer, John Gailey. So let's watch him, okay? Go, Slim. Give a listen now to Chuck Bowers. Come on in, Chuck. Now, listen here, friends. I want to tell you about a brand new dance that you got to learn to do. It's called the Okie Boogie. You do an Okie style. That mean Okie Boogie is bound to drive you wild. If you don't look at you, gonna blow your top when you do the okey boogie and do an okey start. That mean okey boogie is bound to drive you wild. Can't go slow, 
you gotta go fast. Grab her by the hair. Woo! And do the okie boogie. And do it okie style. That mean okie boogie is bound to drive you wild. Now, Fred tried to do the okie boogie just a little too much. He tried to overdo it. Oklahoma style. That mean okie boogie has got to drive you wild. Once again, now, uh, let's see if the old roof of this jewel theater can stand a real big round of welcoming applause for my good friend, Roy Acuff. Let's go. Uh, back here on that old aluminum bass. I'd like you to listen now to our little girlfriend, Miss June Webb, sing a, another real pretty number written by Don Gibson called Old Lonesome Me. Miss June. Well, the red 
out in the town. All the little cats got jumping around. I want a little kitty cat standing in the corner. I just one look and I knew she was a goner. I gotta make you mine. You make me feel so fine. He's a crazy little guitar man. He's a guitar man. Crazy guitar man. A wild guitar man. A gone guitar man. Oh, well, I love that rhythm, so just to listen to him go. He's a crazy little guitar man. but I've never been able to get the sound out of it, just like a certain friend of mine. One of those famous whippoorwills, now playing in Hollywood, but he's here with us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Roy Lanham. I'm sure you'll understand that for a little while I've got blues on my mind.
gentleman whose band is providing all of our music on tonight's show with a couple or three of his sidekicks with the newest Cimarron recording, Mr. Leon McCollum. <laughs> But no one was there. It was a fair house. Day she walked right in and made herself at home. Cause she didn't care. So independent. Soon she got to sleep. They went to bed upstairs. Went home, home, home came the three bears. take over and do whatever you feel like doing, buddy. It's mighty nice of you, Ray. You let me take over for about eight years on the Grand Ole Opry, but don't take over for eight years here. Will He's going to give me ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Red. Take it away, boys. Here we go. Show my pain. Prove that I am to you. 
much. I'd like you to real a good, uh, to meet rather a real country musician, a boy that plays lots of different instruments. But tonight we're going to feature him on the harmonica, the little bitty one with the fox chase. Here is Jimmy Rivers. Jimmy. <laughs> to meet a very lovely and talented little lady that we're real proud of, Miss June Webb, singing Afraid. June? combinations all of his life. It's you and your just, boys back here. I'm just, just lucky, Red. Been lucky uh, all your so modest, boy. <laughs> you know, I, something I've always, well, that I had in mind and invited you to come over here. Same thing that I've been looking forward to. Sing the song with Sing you. with you. You got a great big record <laughs> called Take That Night, Train to Memphis. Here, you take, that, take, never take that you. ukulele and play it and I'll sing with okay, you. Let's join the together. Give me the fiddle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take it off. Let's go.
Mr. Roy Acuff goes, you'll also find that wonderful pair, Big Howdy Forrester and Bashful Brother Oswald. The Jubilee stage is all yours. Gentlemen, Thank come you, on, let's go! Yeah. 
small mustache and a great big guitar from way out California way, Mr. Roy Lanham. Right here. <laughs> You take them. I've had enough of them. Well, no. I mean, Speedy Hallworth. Uh, oh. he's one. Uh, you may have had enough of him, but uh, you better get ready to...
Hi there. Red Foley's on a little vacation, and I'm Rex Allen, the Frontier Doctor. Mighty proud to be standing in for the old redhead here tonight. And here's our very special guest. Hi there, I'm Funny Jane. Hey, don't forget oh. me. I'm Brenda Lee, and we're all going to have fun tonight on Ozark Jubilee. There it goes. Coast to coast from Springfield, Missouri, it's Ozark Jubilee. This week, presenting sensational little Brenda Lee, special guest Sonny James, and a host of your Jubilee favorites. Brought to you by smooth, long-lasting Beeman's Pets and Chewing Gum. It aids digestion. And by Clorex Gum and Clorex Mints, a delicious way to dissolve bad breath away. And now taking over the reins for Red Bull later in the first week of the old Redhead's vacation, here's another of country and western music's greatest stars, Rex Allen! seeing some of them in a minute or two, but first, this cute little youngin is here to remind me to tell you about Chlorettes, and as everybody knows, using Chlorettes is the delicious way to dissolve bad breath away. Watch this. Don't broadcast bad breath. Take Chlorettes, the amazing remedy that dissolves bad breath away. Chlorettes is the only breath remedy that combines the two breath purifiers, chlorophyll and retsin. Together they banish offensive breath odors with amazing speed. Let me demonstrate. This type machine was developed for the Army Chemical Warfare Service to detect odors. When I uncover this beaker of raw onion juice, watch the needle jump. Now watch what happens when I pour Chlorettes ingredients into the onion juice. The needle drops back into the safety zone because Chlorette dissolves odor away, quickly, thoroughly. So always carry Chlorette. Chlorette costs a little more, but Chlorette do so much more. 
Remember, don't broadcast bad breath. Take Florets, the amazing remedy that dissolves bad breath away. Florets, mints or gum. And that's good advice. You know, the script, uh, the script writers of my Western pictures and television have always got me doing some kind of real spectacular thing to head off the outlaws. And one time they had me dynamite a bridge, so I kind of got acquainted with one of these things here. This is what they call a detonator. <laughs> and tonight, without a single outlaw in sight, I'm going to use this to set off the doggondest kind of dynamite you ever saw in your whole born days. Friends, here's little Miss T and T. Brenda Lee. He's one of the great new stars of 1957 and a friend of mine for a long time, Sonny James. What a turn away. What did I say? Oh, darling, speak to me. Just yesterday.
passed away. Southern gentleman who got his network television start right here on Ozark Jubilee, Sonny James. I know that Red and everybody here are real, real proud of that boy. I am. And something else this show is proud of is its fine sponsor, the makers of smooth, long-lasting Beeman's Pepsin gum. It aids digestion. Watch this. Friends, does your stomach talk back to you like this? You hate it. Yes, these days most of us eat too fast, eat too much. No wonder we get that dull, heavy, after-eating feeling. And that's why you should always follow your meals with wonderful-tasting Beeman's Pepsin Chewing Gum. Beeman's aids digestion. It's so good and so good for you. And Beeman's delicious flavor lasts for hours. It's a smooth gum, never tires you to chew it. And Beeman's moistens and refreshes your mouth and throat. Sweetens your breath after meals. So next time your stomach talks back, because... You ate too much, you ate too much, you ate too fast, you ate too fast. Follow your meals with Beeman's Pepsin Chewing Gum. Beeman's AIDS Digestion. Be ready when the bride comes. 
to be there Well, you think on, you think on, you think on your mind The wheel's gonna roll down the line of time Well, that wheel's gonna roll down the line of time Just to save this simple soul of mine Then behold, behold oh, the bride Come and lift up, lift up Your voice is crying loud Then be ready, be ready when the bride sitting at home watching the Jubilee as my wife and my three boys are doing right now out in Van Nuys, California. I always look forward to the time when Red calls on this old stage pair. Well, they're just, they're folks who just about don't have any equal, I think, in the homespun humor. So, for your enjoyment and mine, here's Aunt Sapp and her ever-loving spouse, a gay blade of the gay 90s, Uncle Sapp Bradfield. <laughs> Where are you going all dressed up like that? Well, Dad Burnett, you know Sonny James and Rex Allen's both in town. I know it. I want to dress up. I'm going to hunt them up and bring them home for supper. Why, Sid, they wouldn't need our kind of grub. What do you mean, wouldn't need our... There's raised on it. That blame collards and side meat and crackling bread. Well, all right. Then you invite us to supper. I'd be glad to have you. Well? But I want you to go to Miss Cheney's for me first and get the ice cream freezer. Ice cream freezer. And on the way, stop and mail that letter. Yeah. Now, I've got to have our ice cream freezer because we got other company coming, too. More company? Yes. Some of your kinfolk? Yes. I swear you got more kinfolk than a white rabbit. <laughs> go, 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 go get that freezer yourself. I ain't got, I'm dressed up. Ain't you got no pride at all? Huh? Wouldn't you be humiliated to see me walking from Miss Cheney's house to my house with that heavy ice cream freezer on my back? Yeah, I'd probably be humiliated a little, but I wouldn't be half as tired as if I went and got it. Right? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna do something to you. I'm gonna fix you so you'll be so humiliated. Huh? You won't Oh, you know, when Bonnie was here last summer, she left one of those bikini bathing suits at our house. Bikini? Do you know what a bikini bathing suit is? Bikini bathing Yeah, I got a picture of one out there. I mean, I've seen a picture of it. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it ain't, uh, the, the top don't go far enough down and the bottom don't come far enough up. And in between them, great day in the morning. I'm telling you. Let's talk about something, man. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put that suit on and walk right down the middle of the street. Sam, you mean with one of them scanty bathing suits yes. on? Yes. And everybody sees you, then they'll know that I married you for your money. <laughs> With, in that suit. With nothing but a bathing suit on? Yes. Clear through town? Yes. Middle of the street? Mm -hmm. Clear to the post office? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, you mail that letter there. <laughs> uh, you go get that ice cream freezer for me. 
Honey, I'd be glad to, but I ain't even here. What do you mean you ain't here? Look, if I prove to you that I ain't here, will you go get the ice cream freezer? Sure. All right, look, I ain't in Chicago, and I ain't in St. Louis. No. Well, if I ain't in Chicago or St. Louis, I must be somewhere else. If I'm somewhere else, I can't be here. Go get the freezer. Go on. Right. Huh? Where is that money you got for that cow and them keys for Mr. Hathaway? Woman, you can see more through a keyhole than anybody else can a 21-inch screen, you know? <laughs> I was going to give it to you. Uh, I got $50 for her. Uh, how old do you think Mr. Hathaway is? 38. 38? No, you're 50. 38, 39, 40... <laughs> And ten fifty. There, there, there you are, Puddin'. Hey, hon, uh, you know me and you need one believe in gambling, but let's me and you put us a quiz program on, huh? Let's lay our money down there on the floor, and, and, then, then, that, and then if I can prove you ain't here, I get the, we'll call it whole hog or none, see? If I can prove you ain't here, I get the whole hog. I mean, all the money, and if you prove you are here, you get it, all right? Well, I might as well bet with you. Well, Somebody yeah. else might get your money. Well, turn it loose. Huh? Well, I turned it loose. There it is. All right, you ain't in Chicago, and you ain't in Minneapolis. No. If you ain't in Chicago, or you ain't in Minneapolis, you must be somewhere else. If you're somewhere else, you can't be here. That's right. Yeah, wait a minute. Tur what's the matter? Give turn that loose. Well, Didn't I prove you wasn't here? If I'm not here, how can I take your money? Now, wait a minute, woman. <laughs> Susie Arden, and then Brenda Lee. Oh, I'd like to mention, too, that Brenda is going to be visiting with Steve Allen once again on May 19th. And then this coming Tuesday, she's going to be headlining the annual Navy Relief Show along with Marvin Rainwater and a big Jubilee cast at Norman, Oklahoma. But right now, something that merits your very closest attention. in bottles and cans. Here's the beer you've been thirsting for with real tap beer flavor that makes Eastside Old Tap Lager beer the best tasting beer ever bottled or canned. Have you tried it yet? Tap, tap, tap for real tap flavor. Eastside Old Tap Lager beer. Uh-huh. Real tap flavor now in bottles and cans. Eastside Old Tap Lager beer. Thank 
except for just one thing that worries me. For all the other fellows in this world, well, stop for all the lies and misery. If you want some love, then just let me know. If you want some hugging, just tell me so. I'm looking chicken when I really get to clicking, and I'm looking for a sister to revive them when I kiss them. If you want some love, then just let me know. Pepsin chewing gum. Beeman's aids digestion. Ozark Jubilee. A Vitamix recording. See the Mike Wallace interview tomorrow on the ABC television.